جود نيوز وات از ذا نيوز قال فطوبى للغرباء سي جلاد تايدي ذا جنه ذا بارادايس الفردوس الاعلى مي الله ميك اول اوف اس الفردوس الاعلى امين سي فطوبى ذيس طوبى ذات سبيشال بليس ان الفردوس الاعلى فور ذا سترينجرز مي الله مي الله ميك اصلا مان ذوس سترينجرز امين ذاتس واي ما دي براذرز اند سيسترز سي ذا بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم وسي طوبى هي وان تو جاست كيب اس Nothing but them, the Prophet, because they are not the strangers when they open in Medina, when they take in Medina, and they come in, in Muslims all over the Arabian Peninsula and the surrounding area. They are not the stranger anymore, but they start as a stranger, and he give us the news. But the Islam will come back as a stranger. The Islam will come back just like a stranger. But don't feel bad. You should be feel happy because you are among those strangers. My dear brothers and my dear sisters. We have two types of ghurba. To feel a stranger or strangest. Ghurba, sometimes you are in America, ruled by non-Muslim country, as you know, and we live among them, and sometimes we have to live among them, then we, live, we feel strangers. If you work in a, in a company, for example, and you want to pray Dhuhr or Asr, and it's happening to many people, if you are in the position of sujood, They will, and someone comes, what happened to you? Are you okay? But you are a stranger, you know why? Because you are praying. You are in the position of sujood. I was in, in, in Miami airport a uh, few years ago, and, in my, and I was praying, and in sujood, you know, I sit, and I was sit in the tashahwad, in tahiyyat, and then when I say, assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum, I found a lot of feet around, and people around, what's going on? I say, do you have an ID, sir? I say, yeah, I have two IDs. <laughs> Become a stranger. The people look at you stranger. That means this kind of stranger, we feel a stranger when you are among people does not believe in your religion, in your deen, in the way you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And sometimes another kind of a stranger, when you are between the Muslims, between the believers, Muslims just like you, but you feel sometimes because you are following the Quran and the Sunnah. You are read five times a prayer every day. Some people, they go to the masjid every day. What's wrong with you? Are you okay? If you feel a stranger. It's happened to many people. If someone has a beard and he's young, look at the Taimur and the Bilal and the young. So, you're young. So, young, young. I have to have a beard. So, you feel a stranger. So, my dear brothers and sisters, <clears throat> don't, when you feel a stranger, that means you are in the right path. I want to say something. When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he told Ibn Umar, and this is a very famous hadith in the Bukhari and Muslim. قال ابن عمر في الدنيا كأنك غريب أو عابر سبيل. Oh, son of Umar, be in this life, in this dunya, just like a stranger. Why, like a stranger? Because my dear. and my dear sisters, this dunya, this life, is a prison for us. Is that true? Uh, the Prophet وسلم, he said it, Prophet Muhammad, peace and rest be upon him, told us this. Do we believe that? Well, let's look at it from If you go to prison, what's the first thing that you notice? Besides the bars. What is the first thing? You notice you can't be with the people you want to be with. Right? You can't be with the one you love the most. Right? No. So, is that the same for us? As Muslims, we love Allah more than anything. But we can't be with Allah because we're here. And Allah is not here. We love Prophet Muhammad more than anything. But he's not here. He's in the next life waiting. Huh? So, that's what we want. We're not with the ones we love. We're not with the righteous people. We're not with the ones who died, sacrificed before. All of the prophets, all of these great, wonderful people, they're not with us. So, this whole life is in prison. about food? In a prison, what happens when you want food? You like get this, they give you a little sheet at night, you can fill it out with you. I'll have T-bone, mashed potatoes and gravy, iced tea, fresh peas, corn on the cob, 
popcorn. Yeah, I like some popcorn. And um, I think I'll have Cherry's Jubilee for dessert. Yeah, turn it in. And what will you get? <laughs> Mush, baby. <laughs> You're lucky to get oatmeal. That's it. And it won't be hot anyway. Am I right? Anybody ever been in a prison? I work in prison, so I know. But if you ever been around one, been in it, talked to anybody's been in, uh, and you don't get to eat what you want. Is this true for the Muslims in this world? Yes, yeah, a lot of things we can't eat. Legally, in Islam, you're not supposed to eat pork, right? Huh? And somebody's telling me we're not supposed to be eating lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. <laughs> I, I didn't really want to eat a lion anyway. Did you? Did you imagine? <laughs> Vous savez, mes chers frères, on disait au début du hadith, du programme, que ce bas monde est une prison pour le croyant. Dans notre version, il dit Wal qabru amnuhu. Et la tombe, c'est le repos pour ce musulman. Le premier moment de joie dans le hadith qui rend dans le cœur du musulman, du musulman, c'est lorsqu'il meurt, lorsqu'il voit ce qu'Allah Azzawajal est en train de à réserver pour lui. Dans une version, il est dit que, on explique comment cet homme est le plus heureux. C'est un des tabi'in qui dit, qui dit que je n'ai jamais été en, aussi envieux. Je n'ai jamais jalousé une personne comme ce mu'min qui est dans le kafan et qui a passé sa vie de l'obéissance d'Allah parce qu'il est en train de quitter les difficultés de ce dunya et il va vers le contentement d'Allah. Il y en a un hadith expliqué que lorsqu'un musulman meurt et qu'il voit les premiers signes de contentement d'Allah et qu'il voit ce qu'Allah lui a réservé, on va voir dans cette hadith, c'est une petite précision, c'est magnifique. Elle dit que si on proposait à ce musulman de retourner dans ce dunya, de retrouver sa femme après 60 ans de mariage, il meurt, il dit on te ramène au pays de ton épouse. Il y en a un qui est content, tu es, mais bon, pas tout le monde. Tu retrouves tes parents éventuellement, tu retrouves tes enfants, tu retrouves, etc., etc., et on te donne tout le dunya, on te donne toutes les richesses de ce monde. Ce mu'min, lorsqu'il a juste entrevu ce qu'Allah lui a réservé, jamais, jamais, il est prêt à retourner sur ce dunya. Jamais, jamais, il est prêt à retourner sur ce dunya. Nous pas de pleurer, Allah, mon papa est mort, mon maman est mort, puis mon madame, nous pleure des larmes de, de sang, etc., etc. Certains, ils vont chez notre ils font la fête aussi. Il y a différents cas de figure maintenant. Bref, on, on gardera le cas de figure des gens les plus, les plus sincères qui pleurent la mort de leurs parents, ou de leur épouse, de leurs enfants, ou autre chose. Et content, lui, nous nous pleure, mais il est heureux. Il voit qu'est-ce qu'Allah lui a donné, qu'est-ce qu'Allah est en train de, de faire voir comme récompense. Ça, c'est mon cas d'image, juste. Il va entrevoir ce qui lui est réservé. Jamais de jamais retourne près. Ça, c'est la joie du défunt, mes chers frères. Nous nous pleurons, ça c'est pas bien, c'est naturel. Mais sachons que le défunt, s'il a vécu sur le droit chemin, c'est l'homme le plus heureux. Ça, c'est le mu'min salih. C'est le musulman pieux qui quitte ce dunya. Ça, mes chers frères, c'est la mort que chacun parmi nous doit souhaiter. C'est la mort que chacun parmi nous doit demander dans les doigts qu'Allah nous accorde une mort semblable au meilleur. Oh Muslim brothers and sisters, you and I, we should want to be strangers. We should want to be a part of the return of the strangers. And we should realize that no matter what the non-Muslims do, No matter what they try to do to blow out and extinguish the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by blowing with their mouths, meaning their television, their cinema, their newspapers, their books, their radio, whatever they do against Islam, the lies, the distortion, the misconception, whatever they do to try to wipe out Islam, they will never wipe Islam out because Allah yutimmu nurihi walau kariha al-kafirun Allah will perfect his light and he will perfect it through the strangers the strangers